So we'll be able to drain, th or you know, like deal three to the Nexus. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Elise, our next deck for our random champion casual Friday. This was a difficult one to put together. You can kind of go a couple of different ways with both Vladimir and Elise. Uh, we can go spiders like what we're doing here and be pretty aggressive. Um, we, you could be even more aggressive if you want and really turn into a burn deck. We're kind of like a little bit mid-rangey. Um, or you can even go more control style and play harrowing and just try to be a Vladimir harrowing deck and just not really worry about spiders at all and just have Elise as a two mana unit basically. But I wanted to kind of focus on the spiders. We I haven't played a spider deck in a long time. So we're going to have a good amount of spiders in here, a lot of fearsome, and just trying to get damage in with the spiders. And then use like Vladimir and Neverglade Collector to drain the enemy nexus, um, like for our top end. And, you know, try to have those be able to finish out games. So like that's going to be kind of the goal, like get, get all the damage in early and then use like Noxion Fervor, Neverglade Collector, Vladimir for like late game damage and then for just even a lot late game that you know if we need something really powerful we'll have a couple copies of captain farron because that card's really good like if we're if our opponent has stabilized quite a bit we need to get a lot of damage in so that's the, that's the goal that's what we're doing we got a rachnoid century ravenous flock combo in here and just ravenous flock with like all these small spiders so that should be pretty cool um playing a couple copies of unspeakable horks i think that card's just really good even though it's not a spider. And then we'll have some good card draw. So we'll have Glimpse Beyond, Spirit Leech. We'll be able to draw cards as well. All right, so here we go. It's Vladimir Elise. We're just going to play it on it over and normal with this being just a random champion pairing. Draven Scion, the Shadow Isles version. So we're playing against Draven Scion. I like... Uh, kind of like the hand that we have here, actually. I think we're going to just keep it. There's no one drop in our hand, but there's not really very many one drops in the deck. I think I only have just the one one mana unit in the deck. So I'm going to keep this. I like how the house spider gives me an additional like spider to uh, kill with the spirit leech. I like that. Alright, so Risen Rider will be able to trade with Elise. Which they don't have to trade. Their thing attacks for a whole lot more. You know, attacks for four. And it, I I couldn't block their thing, but they could block mine. Vladimir. Vladimir and one ones. I don't really see how this wouldn't wouldn't work, Vladimir and one ones. Seems like a perfect combination. We get to kill our one ones. Soul ten stitches to awaken the blood within. So my thinking here is Vladimir next round and then double <clears throat> Frenzied Skitter round six. You know, because we have the attack token again round six. I'd never keep my guests waiting. Vladimir is 0 out of, 0 out of 5. That's a surprise. How are my 1-1s one not surviving damage? I don't get it. Whoa. Armored Tusk Rider. So we'll be able to drain, th or you know, like deal three to the Nexus. So that puts him to 12. <laughs> Using Vladimir's ability to slay his own tokens and trigger Viego. <laughs> yeah, second history coming back to the game. Yeah, it, 
saying that you're glad that um, Aurelia Azir isn't everywhere. This is definitely a much more enjoyable meta than whenever that was everywhere. And we got the win! They didn't, they didn't have their O2 block. Whoa! Vladimir Elise. Wanna know? Oh, playing against some Thralls? Wait, no, 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 not Thralls. I just saw the Frel Yord and Talia, but no, this is Sivir Action. Sivir Action, Talia. Interesting. Let's send it all back. New hand. Okay, good new hand. Yeah, we went 4 1 with Vagar Garen. We beat Zoe Nami a couple of times. We beat Lulu Poppy. We beat another Vagar deck, but then we also lost to Darkness. I kind of feel like my best play is pass here, this next round, go House Spider, and then have Unspeakable Horror afterwards with the Nightfall. We're not taking it. We're taking it back. Hey, AJ, buddy. Hello, hello. Hope you're having a good Friday. Shapestone. I mean, obviously, Shapestone's a good card, but do we really want to use a Shapestone just to protect a little 2-1? I mean, I guess... I guess so. That Rockhopper is a pretty good card to have. Out of my way! Not a chance. Find your own! Ooh. All right, time for the Glimpse Beyond. Troll Chant is awesome. That's a good reason to play Freljord. That's for sure. All right, good. We've got Flock to pair with the Sentries. Do you have a decent more... Amount of more cards in hand than they do, but it's just spell to be shield you is a problem. We today. Right. I should have vile feasted that thing first. I'd rather it was gonna just kill my sentry. Careful. It's a living. Yeah, I probably should have Vile Feast that thing first. Of course, then they, they would have got an attack for, for five, and I wouldn't have, you know, wouldn't have blocked. Well, no, because if I Vile Feast, they kill the spider. The 1-1, one, one, that is. Fearsome, fearsome, fearsome. How fearsome do we want to get? Could go all three of these fearsomes. I don't feel like that's my best play. I think they'll have Bloodsworn Pledge to take up two targets. It's possible. Howling Abyss? That card is so good! Oh man, I think this is pretty good. I do not break rules. How do they have so many champions? I'm just jealous. I want champions. Nothing like the great outdoors. You'll never know what hit him. Levels up action. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. Yeah, 
Yeah, so at least we don't have any poison puff caps, but still, just just getting a free, you know, one mana two two elusive. Nothing wrong with that. If they get like you know really in soul, the game's gonna be over one way or the other before really in soul would have been able to be played. Yeah, kind of expecting that them to to have uh, those kind of Sharima cards probably like Herald of the Mages or Siphoning Strike. Wish I had one more mana. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall. Wish I did. A chill in the air. If they don't have any spells, this is ten fearsome. Could have been thirteen fearsome if, if I had one more mana. Just replace the the cloven way. We don't need to play a Scorch Earth in our deck. Um, I mean, sure, it'd be nice for this specific matchup, but just for a lot of, you know, like we play against Lulu Poppy or something, we, we don't need it. Um. Oh. Cloven Way just lets them strike with action. I really want to draw Captain Farron, right? That's let's let's hope for Captain Farron. We got two Captain Farrens in here. We two very good draws. Let's get Captain Farron. Not quite, but also not that bad. Break the ties that bind. Even a fragment snuffs out lives. Some things never die. Those cards are pretty quick. All champions have quick attack. That was a rule. So my opponent's played five champions and I've played zero. Winter, take you. I wonder if we could still win. Captain Farron. <laughs> See, this is the problem with the least. This is why playing like Loping Telescope and Contologist are kind of better two drops, because like when you're in the late game like this, you'd rather have a Loping Telescope or a Contologist besides the Elise. Come closer. I don't bite. What if Raya printed a whole set without quick attack champions? That's not possible. That's all they are. Alright, good game, opponent. They got us. Okay. Alright, back to Draven Scion, but now Piltoverin's on, not Shadow Isles. I actually kind of like this hand. I think that the Neverglade Collector could be really important. Oh, Don't need a second one. That's kind of what we were missing last round, right? Like that, just like that card to help finish the game. Perfect draw step. We had it the whole time. Good card. Don't want to trade because we can have Vile Feast, but that was a good card. Yeah, the Wheel of War turns it all on. What? They would have gone Draven here, you know, would add Sentry Flock. A tribute to the Spider God. <laughs> Do work. I Guess I'm passing. Awesome. 
attacking before the Twin Blade Revenant comes in to block Elise. This time we have all of our top end. Last game we had none. This game we have all. I'm gonna I would have much rather than play that twin blade revenant last round. But I have I have five mana, five mana, five mana, like with these units in hand. I can't just like not play the sentry, because I'll just never play the sentry. And I didn't play the the flo I obviously I could have flocked the Risen Rider, but I didn't because I think they're gonna be playing the Revenant, like challenging like Elise. How that be damaged, I'm gonna to need to kill that Revenant. I've dressed for the occasion in red. Scion could definitely be fifty. Not thirty-five. They have Mystic Shot in hand, so the Vladimir dies. It's just an easy read for how they've been playing. They did, they did play their Revenant really well. They, they played the last two rounds against what I have very well. Fearsome better than the not fearsome. Wish I had the man to play the other Neverglade Collector as well. Out of their own scion. So, Captain Farron. Joe Nike, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that, Joe Nike. Does give them like so does this give them too good of an attack back with their remaking Revenant? It's gonna be a tough one to win. My opponent played it really well against Ravenous Flock and everything like that. Like they, they played that game very well. Alright, playing against Lurkers. I like our chances a little better against Lurkers. That Tilt Over and Zon version of Draven Scion is really good. I like our chances here better. 
And we're going to just send everything back. Want some more one and two mana stuff. This is a terrible hand. Alright, Broccoli Sniper. Take care. Wow. This, this is not a good Glimpse Beyond matchup. <laughs> and we have three Glimpse Beyonds. This is also not a good Captain Farron matchup. So we have four cards in our hand that are pretty useless. And then a three mana three two. It's just generic three mana three two that has no other text. I guess that's fearsome for what that's worth. This hand basically couldn't be any worse unless this other card was also Captain Farron. <laughs> There we go. How spider is noteworthy. That house spider really helped out. That's gonna help out these Glimps Beyonds and the Spirit Leech. Both. We know they have the, the two mana thing that attacks. Kind of think they're going to be playing that. So maybe I should have led with the Neverglade Collector, but we can't really heal our Nexus one. Alright, so we can assume that that's going to be a pike. Because of how poor their hand has been otherwise. That, that had to have been like a pike there that they wanted to put back on top. No, it was Doombreaker. Get some damage on it. I should have just played Precious Pet and attacked those two. Who's my favorite? It is you. Yes. Yeah, it's true. We just gotta give him down to eight. Try to stay alive, have this Captain Farron finish the job. We need to do two damage to the Titan or draw two cards. Yeah, we need cards. I pull the so we do get to level up Elise. shot. More of those things. Yeah, planning on flocking the, this Doombreaker, of course. But there we go. I wanted to see what they would challenge first. want to give them the opportunity to make that challenge. That's too bad. Still looks like they're attacking with the 7 6 here. The 
And I could maybe block that with an 8-8. No overwhelm. We can get better damage in with House Spider or Arachnoid Horror, but uh, we have exactly 10 mana for like the two decimates. Like if I play either of those, then we don't have the 10 mana anymore. All right, there we go. There's the two decimates. Got the win. Two and two. Thresh Nasus? Been a minute since we played against Thresh Nasus. Been a minute. Kill an ally to draw a champion. So this means I don't get my Nightfall, but two good things, they don't get to draw a champion. So therefore, like, my, my random Nightfall card basically trades for the random champion. And they also do, don't get the Slay, so it hurts Nasus in the long run. That's one less Slay for them. You would have been nice to have last round, Arachnoid Horror. The breath takes the waters in. Mm. Spirit Leech. Get the, okay, I was going to say, if they have, like, Glimpse Beyond or something like that in response, I'll still get the 1-1. One, one. Pretty awkward hand. <laughs> we got all these 3s and a 5. Pretty awkward hand. There we go, that's a little better. We are up one card on them right now. The desert by my side. Yeah, house spiders have been saving the curve. I don't like this trade. But I also want to get, you know, Nexus damage on them. We got five damage in with for that trade. Because we need to get damage in for cards like Neverglade Collector to be more useful. Betrayal buried Shirima. Hope revived it. Yeah, that thing's a nine nine. Level up, please. Let me change into I see you, Nasher. Comfortable. All right, we go stun, and then skitter. Or I just go Fervor and then attack 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. Put him down to 6. But otherwise, I could do this. Yeah, and then attack for 9.
It does mean a Nasus that disappears from their deck. No, take the nine. Down to just eight now. Okay, I liked our chances a little bit before all of this happened. But not so much anymore. I wish I didn't play Arachnoid Sentry right there. Hey, Relia Shade. It's going very good. Uh, I do not have any Lux Karma deck. Any kind of up-to-date Lux Karma deck at all. Sorry about that. No. Okay, at least they, they can't kill Neverglade right now. Hoping they don't have, you know, they don't have another Nasus yet again, like the third Nasus. The second one's gone forever for a removal spell. Uh, of course, they can just have, you know, they can have Vile Feast or anything else for this thing. Now, they're saying good game, so that means atrocity. That probably means atrocity. We don't die to atrocity. Oh, they had another siphoning strike. Wow. Okay. So that means they go down to six. Man, they needed they needed that siphoning strike. So right now they only have one. Th Thing that blocks fearsome. Wait, we may actually have this, right? Oh no no no! Thresh blocks fearsome now because that because the plus two plus two from the siphoning strike. Thresh is gonna block fearsome. I need to create like a one mana unit. Yeah, I need to create a one mana unit. That was their third Nasus. We we'd already gotten rid of one Nasus that wasn't back in the deck. Like it didn't go back in. There's the one mana unit. All right, if they don't have another spell, they lose. Ish, right? No, they get to stay alive because they can have this 1-1 one, one block. A 2. They can have the 1-1 one, one block, the 3-2. But they don't have 2. Oh, no, but they lose. They don't have 3. Yeah, if they don't have another spell, they lose, don't they? Because they don't have 3 fearsome blockers. Oh, neither of these are going to die. But those both die, so that's 3, 4, 5. That's 5 right there. They can't block like that. Yeah, they have to block like that. That's 4. Oh, these things don't die. Never mind, we're down to... Getting down to one. One is so close. I need these things to die. Alright, so we have Noxion Fervor and Unspeakable Horror and Vile Feast are our outs right now. Those are the three cards we need to draw. One of those three. Unspeakable Horror, Vile Feast, Noxion Fervor. Glimpse Beyond. Glimpse Beyond's another out. No! So close. We just need any of those spells. Any of those spells would have done it. So close. The only way we lost that is they had that Siphoning Strike. Because that, that Vladimir would have, you know, like that Vladimir was going to drain a whole lot. All right, so we only went two and three. Really unlucky loss that last game. It was so close. Get him down to one. Um, but we didn't quite get there. Oh, that was close. That would have been great to draw any of, any of those things.
Um, or Ravenous Flock. That was an out, too. So, yeah, Flock, Glimpse Beyond, Unspeakable Horror, Vile Feast, Noxion Fervor, all of those would have won us the game because we could flock our own unit. Crazy. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here, though, for Vladimir Elise. So those of you watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. If you're looking for a Vladimir Elise deck, I don't know, you know, give it a try. You know, it, it, it felt good as far as those two champions go. So, you know, go ahead and give it a try and see how it works for you. All right, but that's going to be it for this deck. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.